update three on category four, Typhoon Lion Rock, which is located in the Western Pacific, moving towards the northeast, steaming towards the northeast and towards Japan, with winds of 130 miles an hour and a pressure of 935 millibars, moving northeast at 14 miles per hour. Position 28.7 north, 139.1 east at the latest time, 2 p.m. UTC, August 28th. The storm's expected, as you can see, to curve towards the north and then affect the northern part and the eastern coast of Honshu in Japan, Tokyo, northwards as a typhoon. Um, it's likely that the storm will make landfall there. Um, not yet certain. There is still a possibility that the storm will move out to sea or not make a direct landfall. Uh, but the likely scenario right now is that the storm's track will bend to the north and then back towards the northwest into that landfall and then beyond um, over towards Russia. Current um, warning areas then. So Torishima, which could end up being right under the storm there, and then it moves off towards the north and then off towards the east of uh, the coast of Japan, Tokyo, just about into the warning area and then uh, almost over Sendai perhaps and then off into the sea and then eventually passing north of Vladivostok as a extra tropical storm um, which uh, still may have some tropical characteristics by the time it gets there on Thursday and Friday. So the main threat though is with Japan of course and the sea surface temperatures will demonstrate to you what the situation is. Just south of Tokyo, 28 degree Celsius waters still exist there um, and 26 degree waters are extending even further north than that. So there is that distinct possibility that the storm could affect that area significantly. But a direct landfall over Tokyo looking like a very small, very small possibility. It's not going to be Vera. Here's a low wind shear around the storm, a little bit high towards the southwest and over Japan, but it's got at least 12, 24 hours to still have a go at maybe some more intensification, though it is unlikely, and it's probably peaking right now. As it is, looking rather good as a Category 4 storm, and you're going to see it properly now in the floater imagery. <clears throat> Here it is. Um, and if you saw the early updates on this storm, you can see how it's completely transformed from a very small cyclone to a very large one as we've expected and looking very good indeed. Maybe some annular characteristics, um, certainly the donut shape around the eye wall which is um, obviously a sign of a strong cyclone um, and the banding around the southern side looking very extreme in those late frames. Um, and luckily no one is to the south of the storm um, or indeed anywhere near the storm right now apart from some of those Japanese islands and they'll be having a rough ride over the next 24-48 hours. There's the storm on the latest infrared image in relation to Japan not really affecting Japan yet um, but that situation may change in the coming days obviously. You can um, Follow the latest updates on the website forcecity.com forward slash SUS, S-E-W-S dot HTML. That's the Storm Early Warning Service providing constant updates on this storm. Currently out of commission but likely to come back very soon. 50 storms have formed so far in 2016 round the world. Uh, 21 of those have gone on to become Category 1 typhoons or equivalents around the world and 9 of them Category 3 storms with winds of 115 miles per hour plus um, which has overtaken 1977 with Lion Rock and the Hurricanes category catching up to 1977 as well. Well that was a very very poor year, that's why it's at the bottom. You can follow Force 13 on any of its outlets, the website force13.com and its forum. Or you can also follow us on YouTube, Facebook and Twitter. Search Force 13 all in text. Or you can add Fool 13 on Skype for tropical weather chat at any time. That's F double O L 1 3. The next update on Lion Rock will follow probably tomorrow with many updates on the other storms around the world coming up soon. That's all for now.